Hello my loves and welcome back to Let's Replay Dark Souls 3. Welcome back to the Cathedral of the Deep where all sorts of hideous and unhallowed things are afoot. Not so hideous and unhallowed though because the uh, the creature behind all of the unhallowed hideousness, Aldrich, actually isn't here. Yeah, it's a bit of a bust to be honest. There is, There are things to fight here though and things to find so worry ye not. These guys, for example, the priests of the deep, who have been corrupted by Aldrich and his weird, weird faith. They're, um, they're not very nice. Kel Surprise, eh? Dark Souls game. Hmm. Something that's not very nice. Before we do anything, I've got to go back outside. I've got to go back out into the main area. Oof. That's an Aldrich spawn. Ugh. Or an Aldrich effluent. I don't know. It could be either. It's, um, they're basically Aldrich's cast-offs. When you, we saw Aldrich in the opening cinematic, he was that big sludge thing that broke out of a tomb and just sort of flowed like, like sewage or effluent. That was Aldrich. He's, um, he's the blob. He's essentially the blob. Oh, fuck these things. Oh, kamikaze. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I love the way they leap. I don't know why the way they leap is really comical. Hello! Yeah, I'm not even going to give you a chance. I just need to go up to the left there. Up to the left, there are actually some interesting things. There's some items and stuff, so I'm going to go and get them. You know, while we've got the chance. Got to be careful, though. There are lots of uh, creatures waiting in ambush inside these nooks and crannies, so we've got to be a little bit careful. More priests of the deep look, worshipping. The Deep is a really weird concept that comes up throughout this game. As I said before, I believe it's linked to the metaphysics of Bloodborne with the the Great Ocean, you know, the Great Sea that's revealed in the uh, Old Hunters DLC. Hello! Big guy with an axe! We don't like that at all. Whoa! Where did you come from? He was just hanging off of the crenellations waiting for someone to happen by. I suppose when you're undead, you can do that kind of thing, because you don't get tired, do you? Or bored, it seems. <clears throat> it seems to me that being undead in uh, Dark Souls, it can be a pretty various state. You know, some undead are mindless and hollow. Some of them, uh, like our good friend Zigford, are, uh, have got a little bit more about them. A little bit more personality, you know? Not these guys, though. Broken straight so well, isn't that useful? Ember, now that is useful. We're going to need that. We're going to need a lot of them, actually, because we're going to probably going to die a lot in here. Cathedral of the Deep, it's very dangerous. Kale surprise, eh? Kale surprise. One of the things that makes it dangerous is down there. I showed you last time, remember? The bloody giant. There's two of them, believe it or not. Two captive giants in the Cathedral of the Deep. As I said, I like to think that they are this this reality's incarnations of the giants from Dark Souls 2. Um, we know that they are servants of Yorm the Giant, who is one of the... Uh... <laughs> Did you read that? Time for Fatty. That's one of the, um, the many, many messages you can read. And it's not wrong. There's an evangelist down here. That's what it's warning us of. An evangelist of the deep. There she is. I wonder if we can get her from behind. As it were. Should probably rephrase that, to be perfectly honest. Probably not. Oh well. Ah! She hit me with a book! Well. There's a metaphor for evangelism, if ever there was one. <laughs> God, she's tough! God, she's tough! She nearly killed me, then. Were it not for some death rolling, if she would have had me there. The ones in the cathedral are a lot tougher. <laughs> I like the floppiness of their their animation model. Uh, okay, what was she protect? That was my phone. Who was she? Pro what was she protecting? A deep gem. Oh, okay, that will allow us to apply deep damage to. Oh, the abyss is down there. Interesting. If you look around Lothric, you will find lots of areas open to the abyss. Remember from Dark Souls One, the abyss. It's very much in, uh, very much a presence in uh, Lothric. I can tell you. Oh, ah! oh, that sucks. I didn't notice it hanging from the ceiling. That's an old, another Aldrich spawn. And like Aldrich himself, they uh, they try to devour everything they touch. It's gross. Like, really friggin' gross. Horrible things. 
Yeah, you just melt there. Okay, the giant. Have we defeated the giant? No, we haven't. He's still here. Well, the giants are tough. What a surprise. The giants are very tough. And we can either leave him and treat him like an environmental hazard, or we can deal with him now. I'm going to... Ow! Oh, he didn't get me. Oh, that was good. It's going to take a while, my loves, but I'm going to... Ouch. I'm going to deal with him now. If I had some sorceries, this would be a lot easier, to be honest, but I haven't. So I'm going to have to rely on... Throne weapons and pyromancy! I love these guys. The models for the giants are incredible. They are huge, for one thing. Not as tough as they look, actually. They're, they're more environmental hazards than sincere enemies, to be honest. They move so frigging slow, for one thing. He's going back to sleep. Yeah, they're all prisoners. The giants in here are prisoners, and my guy can't aim for Toffee. Those aren't going to do a great deal to him, but, uh, you know. Might be able to whittle- Oh, that did a lot of damage, actually. I don't know whether that's because it hit his head. They're tougher than most bosses, these guys. They've got more health, that's for damn sure. Whoop! Yeah, and they're not that bad. The one that is a boss, Yorm, the giant, he's a fantastic, not only a fantastic monster, but a fantastic character. Um, him and Zig, him and Zigford have a past, believe it or not. Uh, Zigford's story is tied up inextricably with that of Yorm, the giant. And Yorm himself is kind of the equivalent... Do you remember, those of you who played Dark Souls 2, or who watched my playthrough of it, do you remember there's that segment towards the end when you go into the dream of the old giant king? Do you remember that? And you actually have to fight the old giant king in the past. Yorm is kind of this world's equivalent of the old giant king. He's much tougher, much bigger, and much more interesting than the old giant... Oh, he's dead. ...than the old giant king. But uh, they die dramatically. They fall. They fall back. There's another one in here that we're going to fight fairly. We're actually going to hack away at his legs. Um, if you don't kill him, you've got to wander around here doing all this shenanigans whilst trying to avoid him. It's, it's a sort of benefit-deficit situation. If you leave him alive... Ooh, that's a, that's a nice ring, actually. One of the things you can do is lead enemies up here and let him kill them for you. Which is actually quite useful. It's going to be very useful because there's, uh, there's a rather nasty enemy down that corridor on the right there. Who's going to be a pain in the arse for us. Um, we've faced a couple of them before. Um, not in these closed confines, though. Oh, dear. I've got a cup of tea, by the way. Yeah? You see what it is? It's a mimic! Can you see it breathing? If you look very closely, the the mimics give themselves away because they breathe. The chests, the chest lid slightly goes up and down. Ah. Ew! Oh, they're so gross! I love the sound they make. Love it. Oh no! Oh, he's gonna eat me! <laughs> I love that. That's instant death, by the way. You can't do anything about that. If it gets you and it eats you, it's instant death. Go on, you D&D-looking bastard. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Don't worry, I'm not making you go through all the Cathedral of the Deep again. Right, let's uh, let's be a bit more tactical about it this time, so he doesn't eat me. Is he going to go to sleep again? That would be very useful if he does. If he comes barreling up here now, it's going to be rather difficult. Oh, he's chucking stuff! <laughs> he's throwing a temper tantrum! Did you see that? He's throwing stuff up. Ow. Shit. They've got a very interesting moveset, these guys. The way they flail about is very... Ah! Very weird. The kicks are just oddly animated. Ouch, thank you. Oddly animated is what I was trying to say. Oh, this is dangerous. I can't fight him here. Hang on. If I fight him here, the guy with the cross bolt up there is going to shoot me in the back. So, this is why the giant is actually really useful. You can um, get the giant to kill the mimic, which is quite cool, actually. I can't do that, though, so I've got to kill it fairly, which is annoying. I bet he's gone to sleep again, hasn't he? Yeah, he's going to sleep. Look, he's turning back into a chest. How cool is that? Yeah. Okay. 
I know you're a mimic now, so uh, ha ha ha! How about the foul mimic? <laughs> They're actually really creepy. The way they laugh is really creepy. He's still coming. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him go! Wow, he's a quick one. <laughs> Ninja fighting mimic. Actually, it's more like a ballet, isn't it? Oh, they don't like the pyromancy. That's good to know. Mind you, they are made of wood. Partially, anyway. Look at that kick! Down you go. I wanted to kill this one because he's got um, he's got the the deep braille divine tome. Now that is one what I was talking about in the last video. That is one of the books of cursed lore, the Lovecraftian books of deep lore that we can give to the shrine maiden, and it will drive her mad. It will actually drive her mad, but she will learn some dark miracles, which is rather lovely, isn't it? I like the notion of dark miracles myself. There's something rather appealing about all of that. You know, a lot of people say of Lovecraft stories. Well, why do, why would anyone go in search of the 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 books and the tomes and the rituals that make people sprout tendrils and drive them mad? And my my response to that is, are you fucking kidding? Of course we would. What what are you talking about? Of course we would do it. That that's who we are. <laughs> that's what we like. If I could open a gate and let the old ones through, I fucking would. Look, look at it like this. Whatever madness they bring, whatever metaphysical insanity they bring about, it's better than the banality of of this world, isn't it? Jesus. That's my personal opinion on the matter anyway. Ah, look, you see that? Naughty little trap. If we go and try and pick that up, that will eat us. Horrible thing. What was it protecting? Seek guidance. Oh, that's interesting. I think seek guidance gives you like, um... It's a miracle that gives you clues as to where you've got to go. A big knight. Big knight down there. He's a big one. These guys have miracles on them as well. They can do some pretty nasty shenanigans. Mitt miracles and whatnot. They're not as tough as they look, actually, these guys. They can do some pretty nasty damage to you. Um, that one, uh, he can cast this sort of blessing on his mace. And what it does is, effectively, it gives it light damage. And when he strikes the ground, it creates these little light bombs that go off underneath you, which is very, very, very annoying. Ow! He hit me with his shield, the bastard. That, 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 he's doing it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're still a little congested, a little bit of hay fever. They're not that bad, these guys, actually. See, there's the light bomb. If we step on that, it'll go bang. See? If you can get a backstab off on them, then they're not that bad. Ow! Oh, he got me. Well done, you. They're like most of the knight enemies, you know. They, they've got a very particular move set, And as long as you get it down, you'll be fine. See? It's quite easy to avoid, actually. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. And the rest is easy. These are the uh, paladins of the deep. There's some much nastier ones than him. There's a, what, a big guy with a sword later on. He's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Excuse me, I really am rather congested today. Uh, no, it's not the uh, the old plague. This is a chesty congestion. So, ah, this room. This is just evil. You see? Big old room. Oh, nothing in here. But is there? So what you're supposed to do is wander in. Oh, oh my god! What is it? This is a weird monster. There's only two of these in the entire game. It's a spidery weird thing. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of spawn of the deep, some sort of monster of the deep, and look at it. It's foul. But you're supposed to fight it in there, which I'm not going to do, obviously. Yeah, it's horrible. What a what a repugnant creature. Look at the, the, the corpses, the bodies on its back, and... Ah, it's brilliant. I love it. 
nobody, <coughs> excuse me, nobody does monsters like FromSoft, I'm telling you. Oh, I got you. Oh, I got you a good one. You dead. Oh, God, he's, he's quite nasty, isn't he? Goodbye. And he's a permadeath as well. When he dies, he dies. Aldrich's Sapphire. Mmm, I wonder what that does. He's the keeper of Aldrich's Sapphire. Let's have a good look-see, shall we? And see what we can find. What does it do? Is it interesting? Is it cool? Uh, Lloyd's Ring. It's down the bottom there, I think. Hang on. Mm, Aldrich's Sapphire. Recovers FP from... It's alright. It's alright. It, it's not... Um, it's not amazing. Actually, for us, it's quite useful because as a pyromancer, you know, we do need FP, but... Emba! That's what this whole room is for. It's a trap. It's just one giant trap. You're supposed to blunder in, see the treasure on the other side, and go oh, da, 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 over to the other side, and then that thing drops down behind you and scares the shit out of you. Yeah, that's what it's for. Oh, oh, vomiting statues. Lovely. I love the notion in the Cathedral of the Deep that somehow the the deep itself as a phenomenon... Oh, we've been invaded. Longfinger Kirk. Sounds like a euphemism, doesn't it? Sounds like some sort of awful rhyming slang for something hideous. Hello! I'm not going to fight you for it. I'm going to pyromance you to death. You're going to be a problem, aren't you? Especially with that little shit coming up behind you. This is not a real invader, by the way. It's not a, a computer-controlled player. It's a character. Which means that we probably should kill him. Because he'll probably have something good on him. They usually do. He's got the rolling armor. Maybe that's what he gives us or what he unlocks. The rolling armor's great. You can do damage by rolling at uh, enemies. It's really good. There are some players who make that kind of like their primary um, mode of attack. It's really interesting. Gotcha! He's dead. Goodbye. And what do we get? Spike shield. Oh, barbed straight sword. Ooh, interesting. Never used that before. Oh, there's the other giant. Sat in that puddle of filth over there. Lovely. But yeah, I love the, the feeling in this area that the deep has somehow corrupted the cathedral. It's almost like seeping throughout its essence. It's in the walls. It's in the floor. It's everywhere. And the deep is this... I don't know, it's this sort of metaphysical corruption. It's grand, I love it. My kind of concept. I gotta say. Ew. And the notion that it somehow seeps out of Aldrich, you know? That's what transformed him. That and the fact that he eats people and gods and anything he can practically get his grubby mitts on. We will be meeting Old, which is not going to be for a long time yet. Long, 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 long time yet. Got to meet Pontiff Sullivan first. And Pontiff Sullivan is his um, uh, beneficiary, I suppose. Uh, Aldrich and Pontiff Sullivan are in a kind of um, partnership, I suppose. Even though it, I'm sure it is revealed at one point that Aldrich is really afraid. Uh, I mean, uh, Pontiff Sullivan is really afraid of Aldrich. Because Aldrich is way more powerful than Sullivan is. I mean, come on. Aldrich is one of the great lords, and Sullivan isn't. Sullivan is just the antagonist of this game. Arrgh! Who needs muscles when you're undead? Undead and indefatigable. That's us. I mean, we're not even proper undead. As people keep telling us, we are ash. <clears throat> Unkindled ash. The lowest of the low. There's Lothric up there. Quite a ways away now. Down there is Faron Woods, I do believe. Yeah, Faron Keep. St. Biden's Spear. That's that's a pretty good weapon, actually. Homeward Bone. Yay! We like those. Again, sounds like a euphemism. Uh, I, I was just running through all the, the many things I could say regarding a Homeward Bone then. I'm not going to say any of them. Oh, yeah, this stuff slows you down. Unless you've got a particular ring that allows you to walk through 
uh, water and sludge and whatnot, it just slows you down. It's it's frustrating. And also, it stains your clothes something rotten. Not a problem if you're wearing armour, but we're not, so... Ah, the water. Excellent. Lovely. Surprised there's any clear water left in the Cathedral of the Deep, if I'm perfectly honest. Okay, now, where do we need to go? There's loads of places we can go now. We can go that way and activate a shortcut. Got to kill a knight or two of them. We can go that way and fight the giant, which we are going to do. Maybe not yet, though. There's, there's this as well. These, this is weird. We can raise these things up that provide bridges across to different areas. And also, if you want to fight the giant, you can activate it, then run through here and it can't get through. Which is kind of cool. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fight it. Because fighting the giant is fun. It is just like fighting the giant boss at the beginning of uh, Dark Souls 2. You know, the first boss of Dark Souls 2. It's this exactly the same moveset. Exactly the same. Hello! Little shit. There's a knight up there. I don't, we don't have to fight this knight, actually. He's he's just going to move up and down this corridor, so... You know, he's he, you can just avoid him. There's no point in fighting him. Okie dokie! Second shortcut for the Cathedral of the Deep. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, Maggot Man! We killed you before, didn't we? So we don't need to bother with you. Otherwise, we would. There's a, there would have been a ring down there had we not come in through the back way and got it already. So we don't have to fight the Maggot Man, which is all to the good. There's this area as well. This is very interesting. We'll go and do this before we do anything else, actually. After we've activated the bonfire again. So... Back into the cleansing chapel. That's the whole thing with the... Um, Cathedral of the Deep. It all link all the shortcuts loop back around into the cleansing chapel, which is kind of cool. It's very sort of Metroid, the way everything sort of loops back round to that central area. I love it. I love it. I mean, I talk about Metroidvanias quite a lot on this channel. The, the, one of the reasons I love these games is because they are the sincerest descendants of games like Metroid. You know? The structure of them, the way they play, is essentially Metroid. Um, there's not enormous amounts of difference. It's just in three dimensions, you know? Okay, now where do we go? There's a way to get up onto that roof section. And then we can go into a very uh, peculiar area of the Cathedral of the Deep that's like right at the top. And I mean like, when I say right at the top, I mean practically in the ra No, actually in the rafters of the place. And if you fall, it's, it's a very, very, very long way indeed. Ah, this priest, he gives you a ring, I do believe, when you kill him. Hello! Ah! Well, weren't you, uh, passive? What are you giving me? The deep ring. Uh, there's a bell there. Can't do anything with it, though. Okay, if we just drop down onto this little, uh, buttress here. I think it is a buttress, isn't it, that? Is it a buttress, or is it just a part of this, of the ceiling? I don't know. Most cathedrals have buttresses of some description. You see the enemy can see- oh, you little bastard. Yeah, I'm having you, you nasty little shit. Ah. Yeah, horrible things. Okay, there's him up there, and there's another one just here. He's supposed to come up behind you and blat you, but we're not letting him. We're gonna- ow! Ooh, you bastard, we're gonna blat you first. Look at him, he's a big dude, isn't he? And he does mega damage with that- He fell off. <laughs> oh, I love it when they do that. I sincerely love it when they fall. It makes me smile. I think the guy up there's got a halberd, so we're going to have to take him down, because he's going to have a very long reach indeed. Also, all of these little shits that were dropping down on us before, they're going to climb up now, aren't they? Of course they are. What was firing on us then? Something was. Something with a crossbow, by the uh, the looks of it. Ooh, yes, I can see you, you shitbag. Yes. Okay. Love the colour palette of this game. It is so different from the other Dark Souls games. For one thing, there is sunlight, um, for the most part, but it's dusky sunlight, and I, I just love that. 
it reminds me of the color palette in um, Majula, you know, from um, Dark Souls 2. That has the 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 sort of base camp of Dark Souls 2 has a similar thing going on. It's Majula, isn't it, or something like that? I can't remember. Beautiful, beautiful place. I love, I love that area. Okay, what's down here then? Anything? Oh yeah, that's the way we came in. That you remember that gauntlet that we ran last video? It's down there. Oh, he's got his blowpipe out. You little... Right. Right. That's enough from you. What were you protecting, anyway? Absolutely nothing! God damn it. Look at the trees growing out of the... The actual ceiling here. That is amazing. The roof. That is incredible. I love it. Fantasy structures and places like this just do it for me. Um, Ursula K. Le Guin is very good at describing them. Um, Gormenghast is the archetype, obviously, in any fantasy fiction. Gormenghast is it. The Grand Castle of all... Oh, the Arbalest. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, not something we'll be using ever, but it's still a pretty good weapon. Come on. I mean, this the Cathedral of the Deep resembles Gormenghast. It looks like Gormenghast, doesn't it? This is the kind of thing I imagine when I read the book. Hmm. All right, you little swine bag, got you. Ha. Ah. They oh a pale tongue. Ooh, that's interesting. I can give that to a character in the Cathedral of the Deep. Actually, one we're going to meet very soon. Hi. Yeah. Oh, oh, you see him skitter back. Oh, little sod. Okay, let's um, let's try this, shall we? There's a way in to the cathedral, and here we are. We can walk actually across these uh, rafters here, and it's very treacherous, and there are enemies here. It's tricky. This. It's tricky to fight without falling here, and there are some tough enemies. Ah, <laughs> the trick is to lead the enemies off, rather than falling yourself. Don't try and fight them, not here, if you can help it. Yes, there are knights as well, and they're very tough. As I say, lead them off the edge. You'll be fine. Alright, you. He's a big one, isn't he? And he's got a very big sword. Ah! Oh, he's coming. Ah, oh, he's coming. Oh, he was quicker than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's a long fall, isn't it? It's a long fall. Okay. Again, I'm not going to make you sit through that again. So, here we are, once more. The power of video editing, my loves. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they're tough. Fortunately, my souls are here. I'd be annoyed if they were down there in the goop. Oh, someone's firing at me. How wonderful. One of the uh, the knights here has a very, very big bow. Uh, which can knock me right off these rafters, so we're going to have to be careful here. Best thing we can do is not fight them. Lead them off the edge. That's, that is the best. Oh, look! See the evangelist down there doing her rounds. Hello! Come on. I know I can make him run off. I can make him run off the edge. Of course, he's not going to do it now, is he? He's just going to waltz down here. I'm going to have to fight him fairly, which is annoying. Come on. Walk off the edge. Yes! Yes! Ah, <laughs> oh, that is so much. That's very satisfying, I've got to say. God, they're worth a ton of souls, those guys. There's another one there. My God, they're worth a lot of souls. Maybe it's because they're so tough. The ones with the swords are the worst because they've got such a, a wide arc. They can hit you practically anywhere if you're near them. It's very difficult to sort of get into a place where they are not going to hit you, essentially. Come on. He keeps noticing me and then thinking better of it, which is probably quite clever, to be perfectly honest. Cleverer than most. Oh, oh no! Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Right. We can just give him the. We can give him the. Uh, the merry-go-round. Look. 
he's stuck there now. He doesn't know what to do. Ah. I do like playing with the AI in these Dark Souls games. It is kind of fun. Because for the most part, the AI consists of run at and kill. And that's it, you know? I wonder if I can get him to... F Come on, fall off, you bastard. Oh, oh, we almost had him then. You see him? He almost went. Thrall axe. Eh, it's alright. It's sort of like, if you're going to use the Thrall Axe, it's an early weapon. It's not for this stage of the game. Okay. What is that? Well, it's certainly well guarded, so... Uh, hopefully it's something good. Better be. Quite frankly. Hmm. Right. Come on, you. Are you coming this way, are you? I'm kind of tempted to fight him now, actually. Because that's quite a wide area. We can fight him on there. Although... <laughs> I like the meaty sound of them getting hit by my fireballs. It's fun. Oh, he's not happy now. Oh, he's a not a happy boy. He is very annoyed with me. Did he just fall? He just fell off, didn't he? Great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Such fun can be had. Such fun. Just wait till we get to Anne Orlando. Just you wait. Blessed gem. Oh, that's alright. It's a smithing weapon. Uh, a smithing item. We can give it to uh, Andre back at the uh, at the forge in the Firelink Shrine. And he'll be able to do stuff with weapons and so on. There's one left and he's over there and he's a pain. <clears throat> More so than the others because he's got a bow and arrow. Or is it, is it a crossbow he's got? It's a crossbow. Oh well. It's a big crossbow. Look at that. Bloody Nora. That's a huge crossbow. And he's also got a flanged mace. Hideous weapon. Flanged maces are like some of the nastiest medley, medieval weapons in existence. They are... Oh god, the damage they can wreak on a body. It's unbelievable. Uh oh. He's going to come barreling through there, isn't he? Yep. Shit. Oh my god, he's following me out here? Oh, well, this is bad. This is not good at all, actually. Ow! Ow! Because we can't... This is... It's difficult to fight him here uh, without falling off the edge. And he can back us into corners like this, so this is not good. This is actually bad, if I'm perfectly honest. Right, let's just avoid him, shall we? And hopefully lead him off the edge. I don't know, he seems to be a slightly different rank to the others, because he's, he's got a, a red tabard on. I don't know what difference that makes, if any. We want to land just here, if we can, on this little... There we go. This took me ages to figure out when I first played the game. I couldn't figure out where to go. But there's a, um, a podium here, look. Here we are. There we go. And if we come through here... Ooh, a maggot man! Who can cast miracles at us. How gross. And maggots! Ew! Oh, they're... Uh, they're so vile. They are so vile. They are the spawn of a particular character, actually, whom we're going to go meet don't like fire. They do not like fire. And they're actually worth a ton of souls, so they're they're worth um, they're worth killing. They are so gross, aren't they? There's a an area that we're going to go to now just up here that's infested with them. Absolutely infested. I'm just going to go check over here because there's sometimes a character who appears over here. I'll do that in a moment actually. He may appear here, or he may appear at the Firelink Shrine. It depends. We want him to appear, and that's for damn sure, because we can't do Zygvids. Oh, look at the filth. Look at the maggots and the filth. That Oh, God. There are lots of them here. There's a, one of the priest ones that can do magic. We don't like them. They've got to die. Oh, God. Their corruption is everywhere. Look, it's all over the walls. It's everywhere. They basically infest this area of the Cathedral of the Deep. 
it belongs to them. They are the spawn of Rosaria, a character we're going to go meet now. And Rosaria is a very interesting character. There's a lot of theories about Rosaria as to who she could potentially be. Oh, they maggoted me, bastards. Don't like that at all. The red sign so soapstone. Oh, okay. Interesting. That allows us to be called into other people's um, games as an antagonist, as an enemy. Look at the model, look at the wall. The filth on the wall. It's like, ugh. so gross. Basically, the Cathedral of the Deep has become a home for abominations and outcasts, and the maggot men are exactly that. Now, this character, Rosaria, take a look at her. Take a good look and tell me who you think she resembles. First of all, the area. The area is very familiar, is it not? Oh, the cradles. Oh, that's not nice. There's something very sinister about the cradles being here. It's like, ooh, there's Rosaria at the back. Um, ooh, she she is the mother of these maggot men. There she is. Now, ooh, the armor of thorns. That's what um, Longfinger Kirk was wearing. Look at her. She is the mother of the maggots. Look at her. Ah, uh, who does she resemble? To you, who does she resemble? The feeling amongst the um, the law masters is that she is likely this world's incarnation of um, is it Guinevere, uh, Gwyn's daughter from the original game. You remember the goddess of Anor Londo, who actually wasn't there, who was uh, actually an illusion cast by her sibling, uh, Gwendolyn? Do you remember that? This, it's, it's thought that this is this reality's incarnation of her. What happened to her, we just don't know. Um, one theory is that Aldrich did this to her, sort of infected her and transformed her. Another is that she somehow become afflicted with the abyss and became this thing. The re one of the reasons people think it, beyond the fact that she really resembles uh, Guinevere, is there's a quest line involving her. And it involves Anne Orlando and it involves the chamber where in the original game where you find Guinevere it's really strange really bizarre but if she is this reality's incarnation of Guinevere then it, that's a very very sad outlook for the uh, for Gwyn's family in this reality in this cycle They've changed. They've become corrupted and transformed and distorted. It's very cool. I kind of like it. For for my personal feeling, for my canon, yeah, I like I like to think she is exactly that. And that's what she's doing in the Cathedral of the Deep. She's sort of like an outcast from the gods and goddesses of Anor Londo. I love that notion. I think that's kind of cool. Because in the original game, in the original game, she is kind of cast as this goddess of light and of life. Um, of course, we find out in the original game she's not real. She's actually an illusion that's been cast by her sibling, Gwendolyn, um, as, a, as a means of maintaining authority in Anor Londo. It's very, very peculiar. Gwendolyn is kind of living through her. It's really strange. And you don't, the only way you find that out is if you kill her, is if you destroy the illusion. Um, it's really, really kind of bizarre. Oh, the whole family dynamic between Guinevere, Gwyn, and Gwendolyn is really strange. It's very peculiar. Interestingly, Gwendolyn's part in this game, I would say, is taken by Sullivan. The, Sullivan occupies a very similar position that Gwendolyn does in the original game. That said, Gwendolyn is in this game, sort of. You will see what I mean. Gwendolyn is kind of, sort of, in this game. It's sad. It's a very, uh, it's it's a very sad thing indeed. But yes, Gwendolyn is in this game. Um, 
comes to no good end, sadly. I love Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn's one of my favourite characters in this lore. I wish, uh, I wish they were in this. I wish Gwendolyn was in this as a, as a character. Um, you'll see what I mean when we get to them. You'll see what I mean. Okay, right. Uh, now, where is the character who sometimes turns up here? It's Patches. Patches sometimes turns up here, but I don't know... I don't entirely know what the parameters are to get him to turn up. It doesn't matter. You don't have to get him to turn up here. You can actually get him to turn up at the Firelink Shrine and do what you need to do there. And that's absolutely fine. So, God, we've got loads of souls. Oh my God, we've got loads of souls. Ru I don't know whether you can hear her, but Rufus is like right in front of me demanding fuss at the moment while I'm trying to play Dark Souls. As is the want of a cat, you know? I've lost more fights in these games because of her. Believe me, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe. Oh shit, I've just realized that's Cirrus, isn't it? We fucked up her storyline, shit. Ha! <laughs> yeah. I see that you are now a finger of Rosaria. Yeah. Your path is wholly different to mine. Yeah. Gentle unkindled, I bid you farewell. She's gonna be our enemy when we fight when we meet her next. If we meet again. It will be his adversary. Yep, that's how we're going to meet her. She's going to be an adversary. That's all right. It's fine. Um, I think we did her story arc in the last playthrough of this game, so it's fine. Um, I want to do the other story arc anyway, the one that involves Rosaria, because it's kind of interesting. God, we've got lots of um, lots of covenants here. Welcome home, speak. God, Rufus is being a fuss pot now, and now I'm trying to do commentary for Dark Souls. <laughs> Of course. What is it with cats in these games, anyway? Have you noticed the cat characters in these games are, like, all knowing and all wise? There aren't that many, but there are a few. There's a, the character Shelqua in Dark Souls 2, who seems to know everything from the very beginning. Who seems to have, like, lived through the recycling worlds and knows ah. about the dynamics of the gods and the great souls and whatnot. And there's another character like her in Dark Souls 1 who also is kind of all-knowing, you know? It's so weird. Ah, it is good, wasn't he? I love Andre. Andre's great. Prithee! I'm gonna do it now, you know, preempting. Prithee! Can I upgrade anything? No, I don't have the souls, God damn it. Uh, what's that? The hazel pick. Ooh, that sounds weird. A witch's weapon, no doubt. Pretty, be I love the voice acting in these games. I really do. The best voice acting in any of them is in uh, Sekiro, actually, because Sekiro's got a lot more of it. Sekiro is an interesting one because it's it it doesn't have the same kind of implied story as Dark Souls. Again, I suppose this. Ah, can we learn some sorceries? Oh, no, ah, well, we'll do it later. We're going to learn all of his sorceries eventually. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, oh. I've got the means, goddammit. I haven't got the souls to buy any pyromancies either. Shit. Oh, well. Maybe later. I'll be gone as long as I want, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, we can give her the deep uh, divine Lord, braille tome. Do you wish to hear Oh no, I wish you to read some tales. Oh, so I do. <laughs> should I should I give it to her or should I spare her sanity? What do you think? Oh, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> Champion of Ash, this divine tome is forbidden. I wonder why. These are dark tales of things that lurk deep within men. <laughs> These stories would not please you. Oh, I think they would please me greatly. <laughs> of course, if you insist, I will read them for you. Oh, I insist. Oh, oh I insist. Oh. Oh. They frighten me so. Oh, she's going to be bouncing off the, the walls of this shrine before long. Yeah. 
Oh yes. So now she can now she can teach us uh, dark miracles, like these two at the end here. Nor is a lovely one. I like that miracle a lot. That's the one that the evangelists use, you know, that sort of black swirling cloud of insects? It's that. It does bleed damage. It's fantastic. Are we having Have a that? Pleasant journey, oh, I will. You won't. <laughs> Not from now on. I like being mean to her for some reason. Righty ho! I suppose we can go and uh, let's talk to you. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Yeah, we've heard this before. I'm just trying to trigger all of his dialogue, basically. Oh, he's gone! Ah, Grey Rat's gone to do some thievery. That's grand. That means he'll have... Oh, what's going on down here? Oh, he's dead! Oh, prithee. Art thou good yours, master? I am! Or was. I am Yoria of Londor, a close friend of his. Okay, I don't think he had any friends. Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Is it? Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Because it looks to me like he's face down in the filth. Dignified bow. That a lord, art thou not? Ah. Uh... Bearer of the dark sigil. And our lord of hollows. Yeah, sure, that's me. For the time thou remainst, our lord. We of Londor shall serve thee. Good. And that'll and be to I the end of the game. Of course, I'm also thine. Oh, okay. Oh, good hollow. I'm afraid I must say. Oh, dear. Orbeck of Vinheim is a cause of much consternation. <sighs> yeah, she doesn't like Orbeck for some reason. He proclaimeth himself Lord of Hollows. If left alone, he may one day imperil thy rule. Yeah, she really doesn't like Orbeck. She... To this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Basically, she's saying kill him. We don't. Is the mark of a true monarch. We don't have to kill him directly. We don't have to fight him. We can just take him to the end of his particular storyline, and that'll do the job for us. So it's fine. Um, poison knives. I love me some poison knives. I've got to say. They are very useful in this game. Not as useful as they are in Dark Souls 2, has to be said. Or as they are in Bloodborne. In Bloodborne, they're Till pretty much sure. essential, you know. Oh, yo, I liked you. Mind you, he did say he wanted to die in our service, didn't he? So I suppose he's got that. He's double dead now. Right. What else have we got to do? Oh, yeah, there's our guy up here. What's his name? The guy from Yarnum. There he is. Well, hasn't it been some time? It has. You're charming. I'm Leonard, the ring finger. Yeah. Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're difficult to forget, mate. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. I'd like to know what? If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the dark wraith survivor <gasps> of the man swallowed by darkness. Oh! He's been a prisoner for many years. In the deepest cell in all three. There's a dark wraith here? I can see it in your eyes. Ah. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> He's a proper Yarnamite, isn't he? Um, he even talks differently from the other characters. He hasn't got any of that sort of thou, the, you know, sort of ye olde fantasy language going on. So now we need to go, actually, we need to go back really far. We need to go back to the high wall. Uh, because that's where there is actually a cell that has a dark wraith in it. Remember the dark wraith from Dark Souls 1? The knights that had been consumed by the abyss. So in this cycle, one of them survived. There are actual dark wraiths in this cycle of, uh, of reality. That's distressing, because dark wraiths are bastards. They are very tough enemies indeed. There's actually more than one. But this is, uh, if you do this story arc, it's the first one that you actually face. There's a dragon still. Looks like it's having fun, doesn't it? Okay, now where is the, uh, the lift? Yeah, you die, you. 
I know you were just sitting there minding your own business, but you can die now. God, it seems an age since we were here last, doesn't it? You can make the dragon fly off uh, if you want by just shooting it a lot with arrows and sorceries and things. I think you can even kill it, actually, if I remember correctly. Out of my way, you. Do you remember this, the locked door down here that we couldn't get through? Hello, there's a guy with a halberd down here. Oh, sh ouch! Ouch! You bastard! Okay, there he is. Okay, you. Can I, can I... Oh, tits. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Guard these guys with halberds of pains. He's quite tough as well. He can actually survive two of my fireballs. That's pretty... That's pretty impressive. This one here. This is the one we want to go to. So, this is one of Lothric's dark secrets. They're actually keeping a dark wraith down here. Probably didn't know how to kill it. Because <laughs> they are quite nasty. Of the dark wraiths. Look at all the knights that have... They've either died protecting it, or they've died to it. Look, there it is. Can you see it? Stood in the circular chamber. These are hard. We're going to use a lot of pyromancy on this guy. They're just like the Dark Wraiths from Dark Souls 1. And if you're lucky... Oh, look, he's even got that sort of shield thing that they had. What's the kingdom called where you find the Dark Race? The one that's been swallowed by the Abyss where you find the Five Kings. Can't remember. It's New Londo, isn't it? It's New Londo that was swallowed by the Abyss originally. The, uh, the apparent utopia that Gwyn tried to build and it just didn't work. Their sword, if you can get it, is one of the best weapons in the game. A lot of people use that right up until the end. It is fantastic. In fact, their armor set's good as well. I often use their armor set. There he goes. There's him done. God, look at the flowers. The signs of the abyss sprouting up here. Wherever they wander, the dark wraith, the abyss comes with them. It's really kind of creepy. And we'll be actually be wandering through parts of the abyss. Not quite as deeply as we do in Dark Souls 1, where you actually descend into the bloody thing. Um, but we will, in the Ringed City, we'll be finding quite a lot of it. Yeah, it's creepy. Anything involving the Dark Wraiths is creepy. But we can handle them fine. As I say, Pyromancy is a good answer to them. They don't like fire. They certainly don't like the Chaos Flame, because the Chaos Flame is like the antithesis of the Abyss. It's almost like elementally opposite to it, so... Hmm. Okay, now we can go back to the Cathedral of the Abyss. Of the, of the Cathedral of the Abyss? No, the Cathedral of the Deep, which is a different thing. Now then. Oh no, we're not going to the snowfield. No, we're definitely not going there. The Cleansing Chapel. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Oh. I wish they'd implemented this travel system in Bloodborne, where you can just travel from lantern to lantern. That would have been very useful. By the way, have you heard there is uh, there is now officially a PS5 remake of Bloodborne in production. That is going to sell like hotcakes. I'll buy it. Of course I will. Okay, I've just skipped out here, cars. <laughs> <laughs> He's fallen down the well. Zigfred has fallen down the well. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's been quite a while, mate. It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I know who it is. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. <laughs> Someone's swiped my armor. Yeah, I know who that is. I bet you all know Did as you well. Happen to see it anyway? Not yet. Sorry. Oh. Yes. I see. Oh, I'm sorry, Zig, but he sounds so disappointed. 
And he's still got gumption. Not sure about that, Sigford. Not sure about that, man. I love you and all, but a master planner you are not. Quite a pickle, he's in. Quite a pickle, indeed. I don't think you can, mate. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'll get his armor for him. Don't worry. I'll probably I've do. Got to use my head and think. Yeah, butt your way out. Why not? I've got to do the Cathedral of the Deep first, though. Um, I think. Yeah, I can't do anything at the moment. I haven't got his armor, but we will find it. Don't worry. And can you guess who's got it? Can you guess who tricked him out of it and pushed him down the well? Doesn't take much guessing, my loves. What character has a penchant for nicking things from people and pushing them into things? Yeah, that's right. Bloody Patches. Bloody Patches pushed him down the well. We'll find him, don't worry. Actually, I mean, I would, I would love... Nothing would give me greater pleasure than to spit Patches on my Irithyll straight sword. But we're not going to do that. Because Patches has a story arc in this game and it's a really good one it's it's actually an excellent one it's probably his best story arc in any of the games and i want to do it if we can before we do that though i've got to kill the giant haven't i i've got to kill this other giant over here uh, it's gonna be tricky and he's a big and i'm not embered either am i shit that's not good might be wise to bring this up just in case so we can run behind it if he uh, if he does get too fruity with us. There we go. Let's try this. He's a bit tough this one because he's in that he's like mired in that gunk that slows you down and it is full of Aldrich spawn. Full of them. Little bastards. Look at him asleep there. Look at them, they're everywhere. Horrible things. I want a weapon that's got fire on it to deal with these things, really. Ice doesn't really cut it with them. Fire, on the other hand, will kill them right out. It's very good. Uh-oh. Oh, he's awake. Shit. Exactly the same moveset as all the other giants in the previous games. Exactly the same moveset. It's got stomp and everything, look. So, he's basically the equivalent of a boss, but he's a normal enemy. So, uh, he's quite tough. A, a great weapon would have been good here, but uh, we haven't quite got to that point where we can wield the great weapons yet. Not effectively. So, I'm just going to use my straight sword and pyromancies. That'll do it. Oh, a maggot man! There's a maggot man there. That's alright. He looks like he has a very nasty fungal infection on his feet. Sure, that doesn't really bother him too much, considering there are also, like, giant bits of iron threaded through his ankles and whatnot. The giants in these games get such a raw deal, don't they? I mean, if it's not Vendrick slaughtering them and essentially inflicting genocide on them in Dark Souls 2, it's the denizens of the deep uh, imprisoning them in their cathedral. Not nice. Not nice at all. He's nearly dead. Oh, we're nearly dead too. Time to heal, I think, before he steps on us. Oh, he's gone. There we are. Yay! That was fun. Speaking of Drang Lair, there are actually items from Drang Lair down here. Pale Tongue, that's for Rosaria. Um, the Drang set is down here. The Drang armor, it's Drang Lair armor. Um, the Drang Gauntlets, Drang Laic Gauntlets, obviously. And the Drang Shoes. And there's also Drang Swords? Or is it Drang Spears? I can't remember. They're from Drang Laic, anyway. Drang Hammers, that's it, the Drang Hammers. If you put all that armor on, we look like Drang Laic Knights. Very cool. Nice little reference to Dark Souls 2. Okay, my loves, when next we come back? Deeper into the Cathedral of the Deep. Until then, bye-bye!